All right, our original design only had one sail and keel with a canoe shaped shape. But as you can see, our design ended up coming out very much differently than it did. We originally just cut out our styrofoam um, base, then we added in the sail. We later on found out that we needed the queue to be long because we had a very much larger sail at the time. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and over time, we ended up having to add in a. First, we over we brought in the jib. Then we added on the side pieces, which when it bent over from the torque coming in, well not torque, but the force coming in on the sail, it would keep it balanced, making it so it doesn't tip and fall into the water. Then uh, after that, we added in another keel, making sure that it, once again, it doesn't fall over. So the water would force onto here, which this is obviously much bigger than this one. Then we added in this to slow down the side of the boat, along with help these two balance out the boat. Our original time was 33.35, but we got it down to 23.62. And how we did this was our front uh, sail had this had too much tape up here, so when the air hit, our we wouldn't have as much torque as we possibly could through the air so it would only be catching down here and wasn't catching any up here such that then we had our back sail which was catching force everywhere making it just turn right too far then uh yeah all right say our fans are coming in from this area when the fans are coming in from that area we have our front jib turning it left and the back uh, sail turning it right. So hopefully it balances it out. That was basically how the thing went. If the back, if the front sail caught enough, it would balance them out. Then uh, as we went too far forward for the fan to catch, it would go onto the right sail or the back sail, sorry. And uh, it would turn it back into the fans. Then we'd continuously do that throughout the three fans. All right, so this is the diagram of our boat. Um, from the side view, I can only just uh, show the water uh, forces. So right now, the reason that the boat is floating is because the boat is less dense than the water. Then uh, let's move down to here. This is where you, I can show water and air through the bird's eye view. Um, the air comes into the sails, making the boat tip. Um, but we have keels underneath that you cannot see, but you can see on the top right here and here. Uh, that balances out the boat to make it go uh, sort of straight. Then we have these two, um, well, three attachments, but they look like two on the diagram. Those balance out the boat from completely tipping over. And that is the description of the forces on our boat.